my students, once again, were just going to be armed with Chromebooks. We were going to be virtual. So I said, no problem. We're just going to stick with Onshape. And a lot of people have. And a lot of people have been very happy with Onshape. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I had kids uh, creating accounts with the educational plan just within minutes, and we were back rolling. I mean, we'd never skipped a beat. And I, uh, I sent some projects out for kids to do, just some simple part modeling. And I'm like, okay, after one week, I'm like, how are we feeling? How are we doing? And they're like, no problem. It was an easy transition from Inventor over to Onshape. So we just kept with that. And then I knew this year, my students, once again, were just going to be armed with Chromebooks. We were going to be virtual. So I said, no problem. We're just going to stick with Onshape. And a lot of people have, and a lot of people have been very happy with Onshape. We are um, currently working on a miniature golf course uh, project. And um, What's pretty cool is the kids uh, basically are starting with base, like little base plates where they're going to be building their individual hole according to a theme. I think they're going to be snapping those together next week and then working on their hole. The entire course is going to just be built up just right in front of them, having them come up with, with custom stuff, you know, have them be creative. That was what was great about golf courses. They had the, the parameters and the constraints and the requirements and all that. And then they basically got to be creative with what we've sort of learned along the way. You know, they've created a skill set with Onshape and now let's use all the features and you make what you want to make. So it doesn't have to be, you have to follow the working drawings to create something now, go out there and just come up with it on your own and fail with it and then learn how to succeed with it.